Hi everyone and welcome back to Gridiron and Grace. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I have styled thrifted items throughout my home that I have collected and bought over the years. I've had a lot of these items for probably at least two or three years, some even longer. Um, but I always love to go to thrift shops and antique stores and see which items that I can find and bring them to my home and give them a new life. I think it is so uh, fun to try to add old pieces mixed in with some of my new modern farmhouse decor and it is always fun to me to see how I can incorporate those items that I find into my style and decor that I already have. But before we jump into looking at those items, I want to take a minute to share with you that this video is in collaboration with Rebecca from Farmhouse at Meadow Hill. Um, I'm so excited to share her with you and she's just the sweetest lady and she shares lots of different farmhouse decor inspiration on her channel. So I'm gonna take just a minute to introduce her to you now. On Farmhouse at Meadow Hill, you will find different things such as home decor hauls, farmhouse decor hauls, farmhouse decorating, as well as some DIY projects. Um, she also shares how she has styled items in the past. She shares some home inspiration from other people's homes. And I just love her style and the th way that she decorates her home is just so inviting and cozy. So I, like I said, I'm going to leave her channel link down below. And I would really love if you would go check out her channel. And if you happen to be coming over from farmhouse at meadow hill to check out great iron and grace i would absolutely love for you to subscribe and thank you again for collaborating with me today miss rebecca so after you get finished watching my video today i would love for you to go check out miss rebecca's channel farmhouse at meadow hill i'm going to have her channel linked down below in my description box if you click that link it will take you to her channel and you can view all the videos that she has posted and i know that you will love her channel and her content as much as i do and if you happen to be coming over from Rebecca's channel, welcome. Like I said, my name is Emily and my channel is Gridiron and Grace. I love to share many different things on my channel, lifestyle type videos, cleaning, organization, motivation, um, but decorating is definitely my favorite kind of videos that I like to share and it is definitely my passion. So you will find all of that on my channel. So if you are coming over from her channel and you decide to subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it and love for you to join my community here on YouTube. So I'm going to start by showing you some of the items that I have collected and um, kind of where I got them from and what my thought was whenever I purchased them, how I wanted to use them in my home, and then I'm going to show you how I have them styled throughout my home. I do have some things hanging like up on the walls or places that I can't reach um, to like physically show you in my hand, so I'll just take the camera around and show you how I have those styled once I show these items to you. Um, I tend to be drawn towards candlesticks and things like that whenever I'm out thrifting and antiquing. I love candlesticks and I have a variety of them throughout my home. Um, and that's definitely something that I'm drawn to when I'm out in the thrift stores because I think you can find them for really good prices. And as much as I love stores such as Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, um, and I, I have candlesticks from both of those stores too, but I think that the neat thing about thrifting candlesticks is because you can have uh, some decor that's different than other people may have. Um, you know, because they come from different places. Sometimes we don't even know what store they originally come from. I think it gives your home just a little bit of a different vibe than just buying things from stores that everybody can shop at. So I'm gonna start with showing you the candlesticks first, and then I will show you, like I said, how I have them styled in my home. Okay, the first candlestick that I want to share with you is probably one of my favorite ones that I have picked up over the years. I think I got this candle holder in 2019 or 20, so I've had it for several years, but it is this beautiful candle holder, and I just love all of the details on it, and I really wish they had had two. I would have picked them up, but I only found one on the day that I picked this up, but I just love it so much. It kind of has a little bit of like a glam touch to it and not just farmhousey. Um, and I have this styled on top of my hutch. And instead of putting just a regular white candle on it, I have this little um, greenery and vine ball that I've got from Hobby Lobby and I just have it placed on there and that's how I have it styled. So I'm kind of mixing a little bit of rustic farmhouse with some glam. 
So I really, really love this candlestick. It's one of my favorites that I have purchased over the years. Okay, this next candlestick that I picked up, I actually got it the same day that I picked up the last one that I shared with you. And it kind of has the same feel to it. It has a little bit of this crystal on top and it is made for like a taper candle if you were to choose to put a candle on it. But it still has this brass gold um, worn look at the bottom. And on this one, again, I don't have a candle on top of it. I just have this candle ring. So it's more of like a rustic farmhouse thing on top with a more glammy looking candle holder. And I have this one displayed on my fireplace. If you um, saw my video where I decorated my mantle, you saw me put this out and I have shared it with, with you before, but that's how I have it styled. But it was a thrifted find. And if I can remember, I'll tell you the price of everything. That last one, I don't think I shared with you, but I think I paid $4 for it. And this one was two. So I thought it was a really good price for this really pretty candlestick. Another one of my favorite things to look for while I'm out at thrift shops are brass candlesticks. And I have many of them displayed throughout my home, different sizes and different shapes and styles. But these are the two that I have right here to show you. And I have these styled in a dough bowl on top of my hutch, but they are the exact same size. One is a little bit more worn than the other but I have them displayed on there. I don't have a candle on top of these either. I have them displayed kind of like this in my dough bowl on top of my hutch, but I did pick these up from um, the antique store. And I think the day that I got those, I got a set of like five or six of them and it was $15 for all the ones that I picked up. So those are some of my favorite brass candlesticks that I have found over the years. one more candlestick that I want to share with you right now and whenever I saw this sitting on a shelf the day that I was shopping and I think I picked it up the same day that I picked up some of those other um, glam looking ones this one just caught my eye I almost didn't even go into this booth that I passed by but I saw this sitting on top and I actually only saw the very top of the candlestick because there was something in front of it and um, I actually couldn't reach it because it was up on a tall shelf and a taller gentleman walked by and I said, can I bother you for just a minute? Can you get that down for me? I would love to look at it. So he did and I actually didn't even know where it originally came from until I got home because I liked it so much. I picked it up while I was in store. So I'll share it with you. It was $2.50 and it's just this it really pretty galvanized, worn looking candlestick. And then I got home and it was originally from Pottery Barn which this is probably the only item from Pottery Mart I will ever own because that store is way out of my price range. They have beautiful, beautiful things, but I just, it's just more than I would spend. But I got a $2.50 candlestick from there that I found at my local Emporium shop. So I was really excited to find that. And I do have it styled on my TV stand with just a white candle on top of it. I have one more thing to share with you that with this group of items I have this displayed um, on top of my hutch as well I did find it at an antique thrift store um, a different one than I usually shop at but it's just this little T for two picture and I thought it was really cute and I thought that the color of it um, would flow really well with all of my radon pieces that I have in my hutch 
and I got this for a dollar. Okay, now we are over here at my TV stand and I do have um, a few pieces of the thrifted decor that I have on this piece of furniture as well. And the first piece that I wanna share with you is this little piece right here. It is like a gray and white color and it does have some pieces that are kind of coming apart, um, but I've had it for several years and it's held up pretty nicely. I think I paid 50 cents for this. And to me, it looks like something you would find at like Hobby Lobby and places like that for easily five or $6 or maybe even more. So I was excited to find this piece for only 50 cents and I have it displayed on this little candlestick that I did get from Hobby Lobby. And I just have it laying in there like that. And I have it displayed on this little tray with another grouping of candlesticks on my TV stand. I do have a few more candlesticks that I have picked up from the thrift store and right here I have a little grouping of three brass candlesticks. There's a um, tall one, medium, and a short one and I just have them grouped together. I don't have any candlesticks in there but I'll bring up one close to show you what it looks like and it has like this little worn look on the bottom and then just the top is for like a taper candle but I just really liked the style and size of these. They're a little bit different than any of the other brass candlesticks that I picked up over the years, um, but I really like these. Like I said, I just have them grouped together and a group of three in my new dough bowl. But those are some of my favorite brass candlesticks that I have picked up. And then also these candlesticks right here, they're in a set of two. And I got the set of these for $13 which I thought was a really good deal. I actually saw them one day when I was in there shopping and I didn't pick them up the first time that I saw them and I just kept thinking about them, kept thinking about them. I'm really bad about that. Like I won't pick them up the first time that I see it and then it just, I can't get it off my mind. So I did go back and they still had these thankfully and I've had these for probably four or five years and they're still some of my favorite pieces that I have found thrifting. But I'll give you kind of an up close. I think they have a lot of detail to them and they're that wooden textured feel, which I really like to decorate with. I like to mix lots of different wooden textures into my home. And it does have a little thing on top, like you could put a candle on there if you wanted to, but I decided to do another one of those little greenery vine balls that I've gotten from Hobby Lobby. And I just have them styled on my TV stand on either side of my dough bowl. And in our other home, before we moved into here, I had my TV stand. Uh, we actually used it for our TV, and I had these styled on either side of our TV. So they have been on this piece of furniture pretty much since I got them, but I just love the look that they have and just some character that they add to any place that I've put them. too much of a glare with the sunlight coming through but this is another piece that I got from um, the thrift shop probably five or six years ago it was one of the first pieces that I picked up from there and I didn't paint it or do anything to it it was already this like white distressed wood color and it actually this is the top of the window but the top part up there was kind of worn and I was scared to anchor anything into it into the wall I was scared it wouldn't hold so I just flipped it upside down and made this the bottom part and I just use it as a picture frame. I'm able to put six different pictures in there and I just changed those out, you know, throughout the years. But this was one of the first pieces that I got and I paid $25 for this window. And I just think it makes such a statement in my home. I also had it styled like this in our other home with the same home sweet home sign above it. And I just love how it looks. It just adds such a statement, like I said, to the wall. 
and I'm able to display multiple pictures without having all kind of different picture frames on the wall. So I was really glad that I decided to try this out and love how it looks. my mantle I wanted to share these with you if you saw my mantle decorate then you've already seen these I've had these for a while too but these are some of those other brass candlesticks that I got in that same little bundle with the taller ones that I paid $15 for the whole bundle so I have three that look exactly the same I think one's a little bit taller and a little bit more worn than the other two but I just have it with this same little pit berry candle ring on top and I just have it styled in my dough bowl with the other two I got ready to film this part and um, Axel jumped up here with me. So I guess he's gonna be in this clip as well. But not only have I gotten home decor from the thrift shop and Emporium over the years, but I've also gotten some furniture pieces and this farmhouse bitch is one of them. I got this for $75 and I used to have it on my back porch and I would put like my seasonal outdoor decor pillows on there. Um, but now I've moved it into my home and I think that it just goes so well underneath this picture we have up here on the wall and it usually has lots of toys underneath it and on top of it because Rowdy has claimed this as one of the places he likes to play. But again, I didn't do anything to this. I didn't distress it, paint it or anything. It was this pretty white chippy wood color whenever I purchased it and it's one of my favorite pieces that I have found over the years. furniture that I have thrifted over the years. Whenever I purchased this, it was a bright lime green color. And so I just chalk painted it white and distressed it. And we have used it as our side table for many years and it works great. It's not too big. It doesn't take up too much space, but it's enough for what we use it for. We put our drinks and things like that on there. Um, at one time I had it decorated, but I've just found with a toddler the less things as an option for him to get into, the better. So right now we just use it for the convenience of being able to set our drinks and stuff on there. Um, but this goes right here in our living room beside our couch and love seat. And I think I paid around $25 for this piece. Here's another piece that I couldn't take down because we have it um, hung up on the wall, but it is one of the very first pieces that I ever got from the Emporium when I first started shopping there. And it says, home is wherever I'm with you. And I think it's just such a sweet little piece. And it's like a um, metal material and it's flat and it just lays up against our wall. And I have a granary wreath displayed above it just to add some color. Um, but I think I paid $2 for this little sign. And I just love how old and vintage it looks. And it's one of my favorite little home decor pieces. Two more furniture pieces that I have that I've gotten from um, thrift antique stores are these two white chairs. I have one on either side of my hutch and I paid $25 each. So I got both of them for $50 and they're in pretty good shape. They are a little bit wobbly, um, but for what we use them for, they work out fine. And I didn't change the color of any of these. They were already distressed whenever I picked them up. And so I have two of these. Okay, now we're at my hutch and I really don't have many thrifted items in here, but I wanted to share with you the few things that I did. So the first one is this little bucket. I got it from the thrift store for a dollar and I've had this thing for many, many years and I just popped this little greenery piece that I got from Hobby Lobby in it and something like this that would already be like in a little galvanized bucket with greenery could easily cost like six to ten dollars so i was really happy to find that for a dollar and i just have it popped in here to give this space on my hutch a little bit of greenery and then you saw me share these um in a video but i haven't had these very long i've actually had them a few months and they are these little vintage canisters one says old-fashioned candy this says merry good goodies 
and question mark brand stuff. And I have these displayed in my hutch in a little grouping of three for the canisters. So like I said, not much in my hutch, um, but I think that it looks really pretty whenever you can add old vintage style things with newer decor. Like I have a lot of Ray Dunn in my hutch. I collect Ray Dunn and I think that vintage items and thrifted things look really well with that. Okay, now we are in my laundry room and I have a few really cute pieces in here that I've picked up from the thrift store over the years that I wanna share with you. The first piece is this really, really big basket that I have displayed on my basket wall and I paid $10 for this at an antique store. Okay, the other two items that I wanna share with you, I have displayed on this shelf in my laundry room and it is this little brass antique iron and that white glass washboard. The washboard was actually a blue color whenever I got it um, and my husband painted it white for me and we distressed it and I just loved it. It was so different than any other washboard I had seen because it had glass in the middle of it. So I was really happy to find that and bring it home and kind of make it my own and I paid $10 for this washboard and then I paid $6 for the iron. And I just have them displayed on this shelf with some more decorations. This little riser that I have my Faith, Hope, and Love Ray Dunn pieces sitting on also came from the Emporium and I paid $3 for this. Okay, the last area that I want to share with you today are a few things that I have displayed above my kitchen cabinets. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail because I'm actually doing a whole video on how I have the top of my kitchen cabinets decorated and my thought process behind how I've decorated each space. So I'm only gonna show you the few little things that I have up here that I've gotten from the thrift stores over the years and how I have them styled today. All right, the first little spot that I want to share right here is where I have this collection of tobacco baskets. And if you see that long one in the very back, I actually paid $25 for that basket and it was one of those things that when I saw it, I was like, this thing's probably gonna cost like $200. And so I got my husband to take it down off the wall for me where they had it displayed. It was on sale for $25. So you can believe that thing came home with me that day. But I have it up against the wall as kind of my backdrop for this area. And then also right here, this white tobacco basket, I found it on um, a corner I'll one day when I was about to walk out of the store and it was on sale for three dollars so I picked it up and I added a little lamb's ear wreath in there um, and that's another one of my favorite things that I found from there so I have those displayed in this corner right here um, and actually that that is a little basket that I have those little wheat pieces sitting on and that came from there as well I don't remember how much it was I think it cost around two dollars but I did pick that up from there as well and I have one more piece right here that I want to show you and that is this little cotton arrangement it came in that little vase just how it is and I loved the cotton I thought it was in really good shape and I picked it up for $15 All right, guys, well, I think that I have gone through my entire home and found all of the pieces that I have purchased from the thrift and antique stores over the years and showed you how I have styled them. I actually had more than even I was aware of. I knew I had a lot, but when you go through and start thinking about each home decor piece you have and where it came from, I didn't realize that I had quite as many as I did from the thrift and antique stores. And I just love home decor pieces that have a story and have a history behind them and getting them to bring them into my home and giving them a new life and a new story and being able to decorate with them in my style and my home. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you like these style videos, definitely let me know. Um, like I said, I love decorating videos and giving decor ideas and refresh ideas. So if you like these style videos, I would love for you to leave me a comment down below and I can definitely share more of these types of videos with you all. Um, again, I'd like to thank Miss Rebecca for collaborating with me on today's video. Don't forget to check out her channel. Like I said, I'll have it linked down below in my description box. 
Um, and I hope that you enjoyed our videos today. And if you're new, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe to Gridiron and Grace. And I hope that you all have a very blessed week. I will see you in the next one. Bye.